Welcome back to another beautiful day at McDonald Auto. Not really. Look at this empty shop. So anyways, I gotta take something that's out here and put it in the shop because it's, this just isn't normal. Having an empty shop is just not the normal thing to do. So what we're gonna do is first, we're gonna take this here. We're going to do a condenser on it. So we're gonna take the condenser out of this. Air conditioning is kind of important when it's hot out because you know, you don't want to overheat. So we'll take this truck, park it in the shop here. Bro's working on this Jeep. I don't know what he's doing or when or whatever, but he's working on the Jeep doing the exhaust, which is hiding way down there. But he's not here, so tough on him. Gonna get this truck inside. Cold stuff! All right, so now that we got the truck in the shop, let's get this hood popped up. Yeah. Okay, now that that's done, we gotta get this plastic cover off. Okay, now that the plastic cover off, we gotta get this stuff off. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'll prop the camera up on, where is it, where is it? I saw it, it was here. I know where it is, it's up inside. It's a boom. Gonna prop the camera up on this tripod. Put it right there. And like right here, right there. All right, now that it's on the tripod, let's get this thing up, up, up. How's that? How do you guys like that? <laughs> okay, there we go. So this is a project for today. There's actually more projects, but this one is the first one. So we're gonna get that off of here because we're placing the condensing unit, which is in there. So first things first, let's get the front of the truck off of here and So that's the condenser out there. Okay, so now that the condenser out, there's only one issue. The uh, the top of the condenser has a um, power steering cooler on it. It doesn't look like it comes off. So what you can see in there, it's split right here. So this top part right here is for power steering. Power steering or uh, transmission, I'm not entirely sure. Goes in here, travels through there, cools off, and then comes out the other end, which is, oh God, oh no, ah, oh, everywhere. Transmission. That being said, oh, it's leaking everywhere. The one that I have is just a condenser. So it's like this part right here. So this is this looks right, like this tab, but there's no port on it for, uh, See, it looks right, but up here there's supposed to be trans cooler line. So I don't know, I'm gonna call and see what exactly they sent me because this doesn't look right. It does come up right for a part number, but it's not. So I'll give them a call. Better stand that up. That's quite a bit of fluid. Oh, geez. Oh, uh, humanity. Anyway, yeah, I'll give them a call, see what they have to say. So bear with me. All of our representatives are currently busy. Please stay on the line, and your call will be answered by the next available representative. It's been five minutes. I know it's quick for you guys, but... 
sitting on hold for five minutes is a long time. They better have this part. I'm being kind of mad. I think I put it back together and move this thing out. While I'm on hold, I might as well explain to you guys what uh, what the issue is. So the one that I got is actually for like uh, I can't remember the uh, the model uh, LV3. I think it could have been. No, not yet. Uh, yeah, um, I, I ordered a condenser off you guys. I had got it uh, a couple of days ago for a 2015 Sierra. Um, I think it's for the wrong um, model. Oh, jeez, Tuesday? Holy. Okay. Um, which which store in Victoria? Oh, okay. Yeah, because the first time I called, I was looking to see if you guys had one, and apparently there was one in Parksville Warehouse, and then I had called to order it, and there was a whole bunch of different numbers. <laughs> so the one I'm after actually has, I'm pretty sure it's the trans cooler attached to it. Is that... What's the cost on that? I'm probably gonna have to go to Victoria and get it, so. Oh my god. It's like $350 for this new one. For those that don't know, Victoria is an hour and a half from where I am. So it'd be like three hours round trip just to go get this. <laughs> yeah, 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 I appreciate that. <laughs> Thanks. So they hung up on me. I'm gonna give them a call back here. They didn't intentionally hang up on me. It was an accident. Enjoy a clean, the perfect outdoor centerpiece for family evenings on the backyard patio or camping trips. The deluxe model part 890 is just 114.99, or the Outland Mega part 850 now 159.99. Uh, my back. <laughs> Thanks for calling Lordco today. Please hold for just a moment. We'll be with you shortly. Looking to spice up the backyard with some activities the whole family can enjoy? Hello. If you're building a new paint hey, on good. I'm just, shop, I have his on hold here. I'll just hang up. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so they do have it there. Okay. Okay. No, that's all right. All right. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye. So they have one in Victoria. Um, what's that clock's ticking there? 25 minutes that took just to get an answer. My back is sore because I've been standing so long. So there's one in Victoria. So I gotta go get it. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do right now. I might just try and get this thing out of the shop because I don't think I'm gonna go today. I gotta move on to the next project. So, uh, yeah, let's just get these trans lines back together and roll this thing out of here. Hush. So I'm gonna try and fire this thing up. There is nothing that should leak. I just connected the oil lines back together. Hopefully, Hopefully it's okay. There'll probably be some codes and dash saying the lights are out or something because they're down there. Mass airflow, that's what it is. It's all confused. But this Let's try this again. Alright, so you may be wondering why the hell is there a Ford in my shop? Uh, the only reason there should be a Ford in the shop to get work done. We're doing a uh, GMC front end swap to this thing. JK. No, it's just in front of all change. Do some brakes. It has this really weird kind of noise which you guys just may have heard. I'm not sure if you heard it or not, but yeah, so I got it up on the lift already, kind of it's not up, but it's so I'm just gonna pull the wheel off, check the brakes, see if it needs to be done. I think I go to town and get all this other stuff that I need. Get brakes, condenser, uh, there's more. So let's get to it. Honesty, so 
you believe it I actually forgot to tell you guys that I was leaving so I left and now I'm back got a new one got some new pads filter some oil Rose hanging out in the shop I finally cleaned my table up <laughs> now you moved it or do you need the wood no I cleaned it off a little way nice. all right so let's get this swapped out so we can actually get this truck back together as well Pretty much done. That's one side done. I'll just jump over to the other side. So I'm not gonna crush these calipers down, but what will happen is if I crush them down, the fluid in the uh, the reservoir will actually start to overflow. So I'm just gonna grab this suction thing, suck out some fluid, crush them down. Should be uh, should be ready to top it back up again. back real good. Just like that. All right, oil change time. Okay, let's get this thing down on the ground, get the wheels back on and dump some oil in it. Torque stick to torque to spec stick. for the oil filter. Two shots of vodka. You can see if bros can help me find the diagnosis weird noise. Yeah? Right, help the me oh, that was the problem? Yeah. Oh, you can pull the ECU up. You hear that? He's the expert. down I'll pull the belt off fire it up and see if it still does the same noise that way we can diagnose whether it's in the drivetrain the engine and trans itself or if it's a pulley to do with like alternator or a power steering pump or something
That took longer than expected, but let's try this. Yep, it's, uh, it's in the drive line somewhere, which is unfortunate. All right, roll out. Do, 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 do. Get a prank, you guys. They're not gonna watch a Jeep. <laughs> Jeep. Just what you need, another Jeep video. Okay, so I'm in the freestyle. We're just gonna do a reset procedure on the oil. So I just pull up my old internets here and let's see what they have to say. So we gotta hit set up, keep going through, press reset for system check. System check, yep. Okay, so I'll hold reset. If new oil, hold reset. Holding reset. Oh, maybe I was too quick on that one. Wasn't quick enough. Or life set to 100%. Perfect. Okay, there we go. <laughs> a little bit long drawn out. Maintenance uh, message center instrument cluster. That's what it's called. So now they got it reset. Good to go. It's off. Let's get out of here. Let's skedaddle here. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Let me get out of here. Okay, now that that's all done, let's get that uh, Sierra back in here and we'll put the front end back together. Jeez. So look at that ceramic coating. It's got a nice, like a wet coat is what I call it. You spray it on after you wash it. It makes the water like bead off. Now my car, this is the second time my car has seen rain in like the last two years, but it looks pretty cool. I can see it all beading up there. It's all like water droplets. That's really sweet, I love that. See, compared to this type of paint, like you can see the paint here, it just kind of like sits on there. put this thing all back together, I might as well tell you exactly what I had to do to take it apart. First things first, I had to take basically the whole front end of the vehicle off. So this front skirt actually came off with a whole bunch of bolts that were underneath here. I had to loosen this piece off from the back side so that I can pull this out because these tabs here, you gotta push these tabs in to pop that off. And then once you pop that off, this whole front end basically just popped off and all the way around and then it's the same thing on this side. So basically these both sides are mimic. Once you get that off, the front grill has some bolts up here as well as three down below or four down below. Whole grill comes off. Once the grill comes off, four bolts, headlight comes out, you unplug the headlight and same goes the other side. And that's basically the whole front end. On the inside here, to get this top bracket off, this top bracket has to come off in order to get this condenser to come out through the top. So to get this off, I had to pull the air cleaner, which is in right now because I needed to move it. And the mass airflow sensor won't let the thing run without it plugged in. So the air cleaner, as well as the washer fluid reservoir, which sits right down in here, this nice big open area. So that's where the washer fluid sits because you have to reach down and get some bolts from underneath, which bolt through these little holes right there. These are just extra parts from the thing. I'll just put those in there. We don't need those. So once you got all that stuff out, then you were able to pull off a plastic cover that goes on top of this, which is what I'm gonna put on next when it goes all back together. So the plastic cover goes on, this metal piece, and uh, yeah, every, everything just basically goes back on in reverse. The hardest part for me was trying to get the wheel well. It's got like 300 different little screws to hold the wheel well in just to get two screws off, which is kind of annoying, but. Whatever. I did it without having to take the wheels off, which is what it suggests, but uh, that's here nor there. So now everything's all back together. Uh, what I'm going to do is connect the uh, condenser, the, the two lines that feed into the condenser. I'm going to get those connected back together and then basically carry on to putting everything back together on 
the front and on the inside. All right, that's it. Oh. So that's the truck all back together. Looks pretty good. There's no way of really testing if the condenser works because I gotta get it filled with AC. Mind you, I don't have the AC charging machine or whatever you wanna call it. This one's gonna be up to the uh, the customer there to take it upon themselves to go find a shop that does it. So it was a pretty straightforward install for me. I got the thing out fairly easy. Just uh, they kind of screw around there with the wrong part, but hey, what do you do? Sometimes that happens, so. Yep, there's the old one there, new one's in. And yeah, so that's two projects done for the night. I wanna go have an ice cream sandwich. Yeah, ice cream sandwich would be good. Maybe get rid of this. Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna go inside. Give this video a like. What was that? Give this video a like. <laughs> My fingers aren't working. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed that content. Be sure to uh, hit that subscribe button down below. Give this video a like, hit that notification bell so you know when the videos come out. And yeah, stay sane, stay safe. See ya.